Good day, ladies and gents. I am Dylan John, and today we're gonna learn how to apply an effect to multiple clips in Final Cut Pro. So we have two shots here. One we've made a bunch of adjustments on, the other one is naked as can be. So let's apply the corrections that we've made on this clip to this one with all the same settings. There are two ways that we can do this actually. The first way is by pressing Command C on the clip that has the effects that you wanna copy over, then select the clip that you wanna apply the effects to and press Command Shift V. This window will pop up with the title Paste Attributes. It shows what clip we're copying from and what clip or clips these attributes will be given to. From here, we can choose what we wanna copy over. And little pro tip, if you only want one section or one specific adjustment to be copied over, hold Option and select the one that you want copied over, and it'll automatically deselect everything else. So once again, that's holding the Option key and clicking. But if you wanna copy everything over, just hit paste. Let me explain this keyframe timing section though, because it gets set to the wayside too often. Let's say I animated this first shot so it scales in and gets bigger. And I want the scaling adjustment to take place on this second clip and have the adjustment fit in the shorter time frame of this clip. So I'll leave it on stretch to fit. You'll see why I did that. So if I press Control V on both of these clips, or you can press control and then right click and select show video animation to bring up your video animation editor. And you'll see that although this second clip is shorter, the scale in effect has fit in proportion to the length of this clip. So basically it's been adjusted to fit the shorter length of this clip properly. If I click maintain, the keyframe timing that we made on the first clip will directly transfer over with no regards to how long the other clip is. So for example, here it is cutting off our last keyframe because the clip isn't that long. So if I just drag out the length of shot two, you'll see that the keyframe distance and therefore how long the scale in adjustment will be applied is the same from shot one to shot two when you select that maintain button in the paste attributes window. So if you're keyframing something in your footage, then this is important to know. But if not, don't worry about this section. Just click what you want and press paste. The same goes for multiple clips on the timeline. Command C to copy, Select all the clips that you want the effects to transfer over to and press Command Shift V and then hit Paste. It is that simple. The other option, which is a fairly newer one, is that with your inspector window open, you can select an effect and just drag it to the clip that you want to apply it to. Or you can add multiple effects just by holding down Shift and selecting. This method doesn't let you apply to multiple clips at once though, at least that I'm aware of but it is pretty intuitive and quick. Also, if your playhead is over a clip and that clip is being shown in the viewport here, but you have the previous clip selected, which you can see by that outline of the clip, you can also just take the effects that you want to copy over and drag them directly to the viewport window showing that other shot. Pretty crazy, huh? And of course, if you'd rather use an adjustment clip for the video effects, you would just press option A to add the adjustment clip. This is the shortcut for it in Final Cut Pro. You add the effects directly to this adjustment clip layer and it'll affect everything underneath. This won't work for audio effects though. And just be cautious because if you have titles or transitions or anything else below this layer, it will also affect those too. I realize this was a bit detailed for something fairly simple, but I know some of you might appreciate that. If you did, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and you might like this video. YouTube thinks you will. Have a great rest of your day.